Welcome to Skip's Quick Tips. Today's recording will focus on the use of captioning in Google Slides. I've created a two-slide deck here in Google Slides. Uh, you're looking at the title slide here, and then uh, I've got one additional piece of content. Captioning is run through Google using artificial intelligence, so it's not a transcriptionist sitting at a computer somewhere like we would have in a courtroom with a stenographer. So when you're using technology like this, it's really important to boost the signal that's going into the computer to increase the accuracy you have in the captions that show up. One way to do that is simply to use a headset microphone like I'm wearing today. The nice thing about this is that when you turn your head, the microphone follows you. One of the problems with using a built-in microphone like I've got up here on my screen is that if I turn my head aside from that microphone, the audio signal is not going to where it needs to be, and, and that can be problematic if you're turning your head, head a lot. So a headset mic's uh, a quick and easy fix. Uh, earbuds as well with an inline microphone that would rest right around your throat also is a, a nice option. Or if you're doing a lot of this, you can get a, a microphone that is designed for recording and pod, podcasting. Uh, this one I've had for a number of years. It's the Snowball Mic from Blue Microphone. Um, cost is under 100 bucks, and it's got a couple settings on the back to allow for loud noises and noise reduction, use in video conferencing, use for recording. So it's a nice little mic for the price. comes with a stand, too. Um, so to use captioning in your presentation, your first step, it really is as easy as one, two, three. The first step is to create a slide deck, which is already done here. Then when you're ready to present to your audience, you'll click on the present icon here in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. And once you do that, down at the bottom of the panel, you'll see a, a toolbar, your presenter toolbar, and there's a CC icon with caption underneath it. We simply need to click that and turn it on and now you'll see the captioning beginning to scroll down along the bottom of the screen. There is no possibility for editing this at this point, but as you'll notice, the accuracy is pretty good, particularly with a headset microphone like this. So uh, this is a nice, easy way to increase access to the sound in your video and the speech in your video by using Google Captions. I hope this helps. Please come back and looking for more of Skip's quick tips.